Okay, so um, these advanced quantization features. Um, let's look at those now. And the first thing we need to look at is that there is a caveat. There's a, there's, there are limitations when you use these advanced quantization features, and that includes the quantized swing. Okay. Okay, so the first caveat is that because the advanced features, which includes the quantized swing, are set here for both the master quantize and the local quantize, we can't use the advanced features on both quantizes at the same time. Okay, so for example, I've showed you already that I can put a 16th quantize onto the entire region at full strength, and then you can use the local quantize to quantize inner groups of notes to something different, like 24ths. Right, so we, can know, we know we can do that. So why don't we try applying a 16th note quantize to this entire region, which quantizes all the contents to 16th, and then we'll apply a 24th quantize to just these notes, but at 50% strength. So I set my quantize to 24th, ready to use on this row of notes there. And now I'm going to change the quantize strength to 50% so I can use it with this 24th quantize. Here we go. Drag down to 50%. And let go. But of course, as soon as I do that, this 50% that I've set, ready to use with my 24th quantize on only these notes, as soon as I change this to 50%, it affects the master quantize because the same parameters are changed for the master quantize here as for the local. Okay, so as soon as I try to add any advanced quantization features to use with my local quantize on any inner group of notes, I change these parameters and it starts to affect the master quantize. So you can't do that. So I'll put it back to 100%. I'll turn off the master quantize. So you think to yourself, all right, well, I just won't use the master quantize. I'll just have that off and use only the local quantize. I can still command A, highlight everything in my region and manually quantize it using the local quantize here. I can, I can quantize it to 16th just the same. So I do that. And I get the same effect as, as using the master quantize at 16ths here. I've quantized the entire contents of this region to 16ths at full quantized strength, but using the local quantize menu. So I change my quantize to 24ths, ready to quantize this little inner group of notes. And I'm going to now change my quantize strength to 50%, so I can use this 24th quantize at 50% strength on this group of notes. And it shouldn't cause any problems because we are not using the master quantize. So when I change these values, they won't affect the master quantize because it's off. OK, so I've selected my 24th uh, quantize here, and I drag the quantize strength down to 50%, ready to use it with that 24th quantize. Here we go, 50%, let go. Oh my god. And as soon as I set the advanced quantization to 50%, it destroys the last quantize that I just did at 16th to quantize everything in the region. Everything loses that 16th quantize. It, it's crazy. So the bottom line is you can use the advanced quantize features, including the swing, to do one quantize only on the master quantize or one quantize only on the local quantize. But as soon as you go to do a second quantize, changing these parameters screws up the first quantize. So the only way to do it is to you have to fix each layer of quantize, make each layer of quantize permanent before you change these functions, these features, to then go on to do your next quantize. So for example, I can apply a full 16th quantize to the region. Now if I then want to quantize this inner group of notes to 24ths but at 50%, first I have to make this 16th quantize permanent. So I've showed you how to do that. We highlight the region. We go MIDI, region parameters, apply quantization settings destructively. And we've now applied that 16th quantize here, this master quantize, permanently to the region. And if I now turn off this master quantize, the notes stay quantized at 16th at full quantize strength because we made that quantize permanent. And now I can set my quantize to 24th, ready to use on this inner group of notes, change my quantize strength to 50%, and when I do that, it doesn't affect the previous 16th quantize done by the master quantize here, because I made it permanent first. So now I've got my quantize at 
the master quantize has been turned off after fixing the 16th quantize permanently and now I can use this 50 percent 24th quantize on just this row of notes there. Now I've quantized them at 24th with only 50% strength. Now if I then want to go on to do a further quantize, like quantize just this group of notes or this group of notes to 16C but at full quantize strength, then first I've got to fix the last quantize I did, that inner quantize at 24th at 50%. So I, again I have to go to MIDI region parameters and apply that the last quantize I did, the 24th destructively. Now that's fixed. Now I can change the quantized strength or any other parameter to whatever I like. I'll put it to full strength and now I'll go on to apply a third quantize at 16C swing to just this group of notes but at full strength. Okay so um, that's the limitations, that's the caveat. Um, but now I've explained that we can go on uh, and show now what the actual advanced um, quantization features are. So let's look at these advanced quantization features and the quantize swing. Okay, starting with quantize strength, you just put the mouse just to the right where it says quantize strength and drag down from the default of 100%. You know, you just set like a 50% strength and then when you apply a 16th quantize, say, to these notes, at 50%, they only move 50% of the distance to their quantize value. All right, and as you make this less, they they're further away from their value and push it up further to higher values like 80, 90%, you know, 80%. Yeah, and then they quantize even nearer to the quantize value until you go to the full strength. Then they quantize all the way. Yeah, so that's really easy to understand. It's just the percentage amount that the notes will be dragged to their quantize position when you apply a quantize to them. Okay. All right, that's quantize strength. And to turn it off, you just push it all the way up to 100%, which is off, or, you know, fully on, right? Okay, now next, let me just undo that, right? Uh, next comes quantize range, but I'm going to leave that till the end because it's very hard to explain. We'll, we'll just leave that till the end. Uh, quantize flam is next. Now, what is flam? Well, for beginners, I'll just explain that flam is a term you normally hear being used when people talk about drummers. And flam means two notes very close together, or two or three or more notes very close together. So the drummer gets his sticks and he goes like this. Ba-dum. Very close. Two little hits on the drum. Ba-dum. That's a flam. Ba-dum. That's a flam. Yeah, it's just a cluster of little notes played very close together. Right, so let's look at the quantized flam. Uh, we drop the list down and we have positive musical values and negative musical values and each value has got the ticks amount next to it as well. So we've got like 96 positive, 16th positive, 32nd positive, as well as the same values negative. But the positive values go a bit higher. Okay, they go up to full notes, yeah, etc. Right. So let's choose a, a quantized flam of a 32nd positive. Let's look at this little cluster of notes here. Let's unmute them. Okay, uh, so quantize flam at a positive 30 second, and I'll quantize these notes at 16. So here we go. Bosh. And what happens is the first note quantizes to the nearest 16th grid line. But then if I push up the, the grid to 30 seconds, you can see that the subsequent notes have been placed apart from the first note by exactly a 30 second. And it's a positive 30 second flam, so it goes uphill from the first note. But da dum but da dum like that. If I make it a negative 30 second flam, when I apply the quantize, put my group back to 16th. Okay, negative 30 second flam. Quantize this group of notes. The first note quantizes exactly to the line. And I'll put my grid to 30 seconds and we can see that the subsequent two notes have been spaced apart from the first note by exactly a 30 second. And it's a negative 30 second flam this time, so it goes downhill. But a dum but a dum downhill. So quite a useful one that if you use little tiny values like say a 96. And then when you quantize, the first note goes to the quantize value, in this case 16, like that, exactly on the grid or whatever but the next notes are just spaced apart by a fractional amount, whatever it is, a 96 or whatever, just to make that kind of little flam, yeah? 
either positive going uphill or negative 96 going downhill. Bedlam, bedlam like that. Yeah, quite useful. And if you set it to something like positive 16 and quantize these notes, it will have the effect of making them spaced apart at the quantize interval if you choose positive or negative 16 with a quantize of 16. You get this spacing apart like that, which can be quite useful in some situations, right? Okay, that's quantize flam. Just remute these. Okay, and I'll just highlight everything and make sure there's no quantize applied to anything and everything is at its played in position. Okay, uh, so I'll set that back to zero. All right, now quantize velocity. Um, to change this, you get the left mouse and just to the right of quantize velocity, you drag down and it goes all the way down to minus 99%. Or you push up and it goes all the way up to positive 127%. So we'll set a quantized velocity of positive 50%. There we are. And apply a 16th quantized to these notes. And they get quantized to 16th. But the first note on each beat is 50% louder because I set a quantized velocity of plus 50%. So you get this effect. You know, the first note louder. Ba -ba 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 Quite nice to get that shimmering kind of vibe, yeah? Um... And of course, let me undo that, if we make it a negative quantize velocity value, like drag down to minus 50%, like that, and apply the same quantize. Again, we get a 16th quantize, because I've quantized to 16th, but every first note, every note on each beat, uh, the first note on each beat is 50% quieter this time, because we chose minus 50% quantize velocity. <laughs> Uh, and that gives that quite nice sort of trancey, shimmering uh, bu -bu 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 sound, almost like the beginning of white lines, you know. Da -da 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 -da. White lines is that shimmering bu -bu 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 synth like that, yeah. It's quite a cool effect. To reset, double click, type zero, enter. Okay, quantize length. Well, again, you do the drag down. To 99% minus or push up to positive 127%. So let's set the quantized length to positive 25%. Don't need quite such high values. Positive 25% quantized length. Quantize these notes at sixteenths. What happens is it makes the first note longer by the amount. And I've chosen positive 25%. So the first note on each beat is 25% longer, which gives a different type of shimmering effect. You know, and if I undo that and um, drag it to a negative value like minus 20%, apply a 16th quantize, and now the first note on each beat is 20% shorter. Which gives a completely different type of shimmer. Up, 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 like that. Okay, and of course you can mix and match the two. Um, if I have a quantized length of minus 10% and a quantized velocity of minus 20%, then when I apply my 16th quantize, I get the first note on each beat 10% shorter and 20% quieter which emphasizes that shimmering. They're quite a cool technique that, so you can mix and match these. And if you're wondering why it's the first note on the beat, it's to do with the quantized value. I quantized at 16th, so Logic knows that this is the first note of each beat of the bar at 16th, but if I were to um, quantize these instead to 12th, but with the same quantized velocity and quantized length values, there you go, look. Logic still knows you know, where 12ths are, so I changed the grid to 12ths, and we've got the same thing. So the first note on each beat at 12ths is 10% shorter and 20% quieter. Just only we're in 12ths now, that's all. Okay, so you can get some quite cool effects using the quantized velocity and quantized length, and especially if you mix and match them. And to turn them off, you just double click, type 0, enter. Double click, type zero, enter. All right. 
Okie doke. Well, that just leaves the quantize range. But again, I want to leave that till the end because it's a real head, you know what. Let's look at the quantize swing now. Uh, you push up from the default of 50% and it goes up to 99% or drag down to 1%. Okay, so you need very conservative values here. So push up from 50% to just say 60%. And I'll apply a 16th quantize to this row of notes, but with a quantized swing of 60%. Here we go. Bosh. What's happened is it's quantized to 16th, but this, every second note is being dragged towards the next note to create that udum, udum swing like this. It's like a gallop, and these are the buddha. But um, but um, but um, so yeah. Okay, but you only need very conservative values, right? Let me undo that. And if I do a negative quantized swing, drag down from fifty percent to like minus forty percent. Oh, it's not minus forty percent. It's just forty percent. But I mean, it's below the default, which is fifty percent, right? So we set it to forty percent, which is ten percent less than off, so to speak. And I'll apply a sixteenth. And again, everything quantized to 16th, but this time every second note is being dragged towards the note in front of it rather than being pushed to the back towards the next note. And you get the same effect, but back to front. Oh, there you go, that's quantized swing. And to reset, we double click and type 50 because 50% 50 is off, or that's the default. Okay. To be honest, I don't use quantized swing here, I very rarely use it. I prefer to use the preset swing quantizes that logic gives you these 16 swings and these eighth swings much better to use those i think but there it is Alrighty, that's everything apart from the quantize range uh, this really takes some explaining so i'll have a quick cuppa and then i'll come back and explain this and that will be that right this quantize range this is the dreaded quantized range, right? This is <laughs> uh, this is a hard one to get your head around. Uh, you drop the list down, and we have negative musical values again at 96, 190 seconds, 64, etc. Blah blah. Negative values and positive values again in musical uh, values of 192nd positive, a 96th positive, a 64th, etc. 16th, blah blah. Right, let me try and explain this. Right, so quantize range. Well, it's probably the title that's confusing, quantize range. I think logic should have called it quantize distance, but uh, that would have made the word perhaps too long. They wouldn't have fitted it in here, so they probably said, oh, let's call it. Well, back in the day when they were deciding this, it was all Germans, wasn't it? So they probably went, let us call it quantize range, yeah. Uh, which probably works for Germans when you translate to English, but it really should be quantized distance because it's all about the distance that notes are from the quantized value before you quantize them. And then what happens to those notes when you quantize, depending on their distance from the quantized value that you want them to move to. That So I try and think of this as quantized distance. So let's, let's see how it works. Right positive values and negative values. Let's start with a positive value of a 64th. Highlight all the notes, quantize at 16th. Bosh. Now, what's happened? We have quantized this row of notes to 16th but with a quantize range of a positive 64th. And let's look at what happened. Every single note quantized to the grid. Right, let's undo that. Let's set the quantized range to a 96th positive. I like the lot. Quantize at 16th. Now something different's happened. Let me undo that. Now watch the notes. Let's do it one more time. Bosh. Now they all move towards the grid, but some of them like that, that, that and that and that only moved proportionately towards the grid. I'll tell you what I'll do, let's use the velocity tool and the ones that didn't move all the way, let's reduce their velocity down so they're a different colour so we can keep an eye on them. I'll do this again, hang on. Let's drag all those ones out. Right, now what I've done is I've changed the velocity of all the notes that didn't get dragged all the way to the grid. Okay, let's undo the quantize. 
turn it off and now the notes go back to their played in position okay now let's look at those notes that didn't get dragged all the way there's one there's one there's one there's one and there's one and they seem to be the notes that are the furthest away from the 16th grid lines and we were quantizing to 16s right well let's try an experiment let's get this note here and drag it further back like that and let's do the quantize again at 16th here we go Hup. yep sure enough the purple ones all didn't move all the way to the line but now this one didn't move to the line either so uh, what's happening is I'll colour that one purple as well. So what's happening is we apply a quantized range of a positive 96. Right. Let me undo the quantize. Okay. A positive 96 quantize range. And then we apply the quantize at 16. And watch, everything moves to the grid but only the notes that are closer than a 96th move all the way to the grid. The notes that are further away than a 96th only move in a proportionate distance to keep their distance from the notes that moved all the way to the grid. Now you use positive ranges when you want to tighten up the entire sequence to the quantized value, in this case 16th. Okay, so it has the effect of shifting the entire pattern towards the grid whilst allowing the sloppier notes to only move in proportionately so it just tightens up the entire pattern towards the grid but leaves some human feel all right now let's try it with a negative 96 quantize bosh well, now what's happened is only the sloppy notes moved to the grid. Only the purple notes moved to the grid. The others didn't move at all. And the idea of negative values is we set a negative 96 for our quantized range or our quantized distance. And that meant that only the notes further away than the 96th would be moved to the grid. Everything nearer would be left alone because, well, they're near enough. And that has the effect of just tightening up the sloppy notes but leaving the original playing feel of the pattern as it is for the notes that are near enough. OK, so that's the what quantized range is. It's a bit hard to get your head around, but it's, all, it's two different ways of tightening up the pattern. OK, in positive values, the sloppier notes move proportionately in and the very close notes that are within that distance, they move right to the grid. That drags the whole pattern to the grid but allows the sloppy notes to only move in proportionately to keep some feel and um, negative values. It's I'll do it. It's the notes further away that get moved in. The sloppier notes then get moved in, but the ones that are close enough stay where they are. And that has the effect of leaving the general feel of the pattern slightly off the, the quantized grid, but tightening up the sloppier notes. Now, if you combine that with a quantized strength of only, say, 80%, that would give an even more human feel. Let's say a quantized strength of 85%, and but the same negative 96th distance. And now what will happen is the sloppier notes will be dragged, and only the sloppier notes that are further away than the 96th will be dragged towards the grid to tighten them up, but they'll only go towards the grid by 85%. That gives it even more human feel, yeah? But it's just tightening up the sloppier notes. Anything nearer than a 96 stays where it is because we're, the quantize is considering that they're near enough that they don't need to be moved. They, they're close enough, yeah? So it's just quantized range or quantized distance is just two different ways to bring your sloppier notes towards the timing value, leave the closer ones alone, or to bring the closer ones right to the grid and the sloppier notes just move in proportionately to just move the whole pattern tighter to the grid, but to still keep the relative distance of the sloppier notes. Yeah. Hope that you understand that. That's what quantized range is, and it works quite well if you combine it with quantized strength in some cases. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. That's all your advanced quantization features, and they work the same in this menu here, this quantized menu, and in the local quantize menu. Alright, so that's all the quantized rules and all the quantized menus and everything like that. 
Now we can go on to look at the second part of the quantize portion of this chapter where we're going to get into making groove templates and I'll show you how to make perfect MIDI patterns from audio drum loops etc and all that stuff. Yeah? So uh, let's move on. <laughs> 